Hey, I'm Rejected Shotgun. Up until this point, all of the references that have been made towards the Junkertown Queen have been indirect. They've been through voice actors in the trailer for the Junkertown map, or it's been through posters hidden around the very same map. We haven't really had a really official announcement or talk about the Queen by any Blizzard officials, maybe except, say, for that one on the live stream way back during Gamescom, but they probably weren't even supposed to say anything back then. But now, finally, Finally, a Blizzard employee is talking about the Junkertown Queen, and it is none other than lead game director Jeff Kaplan and lead game writer Michael Chu. So today, let's talk about it. Now, I don't cover Destiny 2 content, but if you do like Destiny 2, then you should check out my brother's channel, Cheap Dish Soap. He does a lot of Destiny 2 content, including power leveling guides, as well as guides to the brand new raid, The Leviathan. So if you're interested in that, check out his channel, links up top right right now, and in the description below. But let's get right back to the story. So earlier today, Blizzard released a map preview video of the new Junkertown map, and it was very interesting because a lot of the developers were able to give their insights on the map, including things like sound effects, level design, but most importantly to me, they went into the lore of the map, which of course includes the Junkertown Queen. And thankfully, they did spend a good amount of time talking about the Queen. Without revealing too much, they kind of glossed over her backstory a little bit, but then they said something kind of cheeky at the end that I'll play for you in a little bit. But first, I just want to really quickly play a clip of what they said about the Junkertown Queen at the beginning of the clip. So let me roll this for you. Nowadays, Junkertown is run by a lady called the Queen. She has a really interesting backstory. There is a place called the Scrapyard where they watch gladiatorial combat of people driving mechs, people fighting each other, people fighting Omnics, and that is where the Queen came from. She was a really charismatic and skilled fighter. The Queen is the boss, and all of the Junkers have to be very cautious about what they do in terms of the Queen. <laughs> So they haven't said anything cheeky about the queen yet, but in that little snippet there, they were talking about how the queen herself rules with an iron fist, that you don't really want to cross the queen or you will be exiled or possibly even worse. So of course, in the case of Junkrat and Roadhog, they were exiled and that led them to go get all of that treasure and all that great stuff, but they're not actually planning on giving it to the queen because they're gonna blow her up. Eh sucks to be her but yeah they went into the backstory of the queen a little bit and they said that she was a very charismatic ruler and that she was a great fighter and those two qualities are really what ended up getting her into the position of the queen of junkertown and we did cover that a little bit in my video yesterday when, when i was talking about what is possibly her mech the king and it looks like that entire idea might be held up by what they're saying here in this video then very interestingly later on in the video Jeff Kaplan makes a little comment about the Junkertown citizens and the Queen that I think you'll find very interesting. Take a listen. We get so much opportunity to focus the story on Overwatch and Talon, but we don't get a lot of opportunity to explore some of these other groups. And I hope that Junkertown is the tip of the iceberg for what's more to come for Junkrat, Roadhog, the Queen, and the Junkers as a whole. The Queen. So Jeff is hoping that this entire Junkertown thing with the Junkers and Roadhog Junkrat and especially the Queen, he's hoping that that will just be the tip of the iceberg for exploring this new sort of faction within the game. Like he said, Talon and Overwatch are already very well explored, but the Overwatch world is huge. The Junkers are still just a small part of a much larger universe. And interestingly enough, he said he wants to explore further the Junkers and the Queen. So I find that very fascinating, the fact that they said they want to explore Junkertown and the Queen further. Now, as you guys probably already know, I am all on board for the Junkertown Queen becoming a brand new hero within the game. And the fact that the team at Overwatch wants to further explore 
Junker Town and the Queen is extremely exciting because as they've said they want this to just be the tip of the iceberg for all the Junkers and of course the main Junker is the Junker Town Queen of course so in my opinion they're just saying that the Junker Town Queen has been shown off a little bit but they want to do much more with her they've already had an opportunity to put the Junker Town Queen as just a side character a comic character but they intentionally left the Queen out of the story comic that just recently released with Junkrat and Roadhog so she's not a comic character she has a voice actor she has a character design which we've seen on the maps but she is not yet in the game and blizzard is being very touchy with the junker town queen they're being very careful not to release too much information they're kind of releasing little bits here and there sprinkling it throughout the game and now in this video we have heard straight from the mouth of jeff kaplan himself lead game director that they are going to further explore the Junker Town's map and the Queen herself in the future. That is very interesting to me because to further explore the Queen would mean some very interesting things and as you all already know, in my opinion, that will definitely lead to a new playable hero, the Junker Town Queen. So this is all very exciting. The Overwatch team is excited for the Queen we're excited for the queen this is gonna be absolutely fantastic i get the feeling we're gonna see a lot more of the queen in the coming months throughout the junker town map perhaps we'll get little teasers snuck in here or there similarly to how sombra was on the newspapers in el dorado perhaps we'll just have to wait and see though unfortunately that is all the content i've got for you today if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and if you want to see more overwatch news videos like this make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload a new overwatch news video that's all for today though thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day like follows